Hi everybody, um, I just want to show you real quick how you can uh, find out if your Fazua Ride 50 remote is up to date uh, through the Bluetooth. Uh, the Bluetooth firmware may need to be updated uh, to write a lot of more updated information so it can be communicate with say like Garmin and Sigma head units. You're also going to need to make sure that your remote is fully updated if you're going to be using the new Fazua app. Uh, though today we're only going to be focusing on the Fazua Rider app with the blue logo. And this logo is the same for both uh, iOS and Android. So we'll click on this and you'll start up with the map screen if you've already registered and logged in. And you can uh, click here in the center to tap, you know, to pair to the vehicle or we'll tap on the three bars. Click on vehicle and there's a blue bar we can tap to pair. I've already got the bike powered on, and we can see that popping up right here. So we're going to click on that remote, and we're going to grant the phone access to pair up with that. All right, so now we are actually fully connected to the bike. Uh, we can slide up here. We can see the different data points that you can select and turn on and off. And we can slide that down. But how do we know if we're actually all the, way, all the way up to date? Well, now we'll go back into the vehicle, we'll tap on the three bars, vehicle, and we'll click on the little information icon here. Now on this page, we should be able to see the version, the main version two, subversion 12, and we know we're up to date. If you do need updates, you'll likely be prompted to do the Bluetooth updates, but on this page, you will see a blue button at the bottom here that you can click to begin the Bluetooth updates. And um, at some point through that process, it is possible that if uh, you, you kind of get a jammed up or you're having some difficulties getting the app to connect, if you get to this screen and you see that this area is actually blank and you see no main uh, sub uh, main firmware or sub firmware, excuse me, uh, then you may actually need to go back a step here and unpair the vehicle from the app. But we also need to go an extra step and go into the device settings and we're gonna unpair or forget the device in the phone Bluetooth settings. So now we've completely forgotten the device, the bike that is, and we're starting from scratch. So now we're gonna go back to the Rider app. We're gonna tap to pair. There's the remote there. Tap to pair, and now we're connected. And now again, let's go back into the vehicle and check our firmware version, and there it is. So again, uh, this is kind of the final step. Check and make sure that you see 2 and 12 here. That could update in the future. And remember that the uh, the Bluetooth chip inside the, the remote, inside the Ride 50 remote, can only connect to one device at a time. And so remember to close this app if you're going to switch to the Fazua app, or just turn your Bluetooth off momentarily if you're going to be connecting a device like a Garmin or Sigma computer. Uh, if you're currently connected with the phone, you won't be able to connect with that other device. So that's how you check your uh, firmware on your Ride 50 remote. Thanks.